Hello everyone hope you're doing great and welcome back to my channel For those who are newly watching me I make videos on yummy food recipes share vlogs on travels and also festival decoration ideas So today I'm going to share with you a restaurant review So I decided to go to this restaurant named Copper Kitchen and before that I did some research to see the ratings and some must have dishes on Google and these are the results This restaurant is counted among the budget friendly restaurants in Chennai. Explore it yourself in Vadapalli, Porur, Krompet and many more branches located across Chennai. This restaurant has a very welcoming ambience with soft lighting and peaceful music. It's a completely air conditioned restaurant which provides you free Wi-Fi and free parking as well. So we started placing the order. We wanted to try the famous mutton soup, but as it was a Sunday night, it was not available. Thus we ordered sweet corn chicken soup. If you have already been here, then do let me know if you've tried the mutton soup in the comments below. I would rate this a 3 because it was not as delicious as I thought it would be. So next we wanted to try the shawarma and we ordered the special chicken shawarma. I would rate this a 4 and definitely you can try this if you're in this restaurant. The menu of Copper Kitchen is curated to impress you with these beautiful and tempting pictures with vast varieties of cuisines. A delightful spread of Mughlai, North Indian, Chinese and Arabian dishes can be explored here. We next ordered the Tawa pepper BBQ chicken which was a must try as per Google reviews. The chicken was very tender and had the perfect mix of spices and pepper. I would rate this a 4.5 and would definitely recommend this for all of you. Next, we tried the Kizi paratha which is the signature dish here. It is infused with secret ingredients and loaded with egg and chicken which is wrapped in a banana leaf and steamed and served hot. I would recommend this for all of you and rate this a 5 on 5. Later we ordered some main course. As it was a Sunday evening in the main course a lot of dishes were out of stock. Thus we ordered this chicken hyderabadi gravy and had it with garlic naan. This gravy was cooked with rich and spicy aromatic flavor with garam masala, coconut and a good amount of chilies but I would rate this a 4 on 5 because I think it was a little sweet. Later there was a separate menu for sweets and firstly we ordered the tender coconut pudding. If you remember I did share this in one of my restaurant reviews and compared to that restaurant I did not feel this was the best. Thus I would rate this a 4 on 5. Later we ordered everyone's favorite which was the Sizzler's brownie. It had a chocolate brownie with a scoop of ice cream topped with generous amount of melted chocolate. It was served in a hot Sizzler's plate to be eaten directly in its sizzling hot form. I would definitely rate this 5 on 5. Next we ordered the special Faluda As per the Google reviews this was a must try and I must agree and give it a 5 on 5. So this was the review for all of you from Copper Kitchen. If you're going to ask me will I visit this place again? Hmm, yes, I might but occasionally because I think a few dishes were a little costly. So here is the list of dishes that I liked and the ratings for them and if you liked my review Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and do comment down below if you've been to this restaurant before and what is your favorite dish. So until my next video stay safe and stay healthy my friends goodbye.